Hi guys, my name is Chad Corbett. I'm the co-founder and trainer at alltheleads.com and this is Tips from the Trainer. For more of these videos, you can subscribe to the playlist here on our YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to talk about prospecting probate attorneys. Uh, so there's something that often comes up on our mastermind calls, which if you haven't been to our mastermind calls, it's every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. You can go to alltheleads.com and, and see, and get the dial-in info. Um, but we talk about it a lot there. We talk about it uh, a lot one-on-one -on -one with our subscribers, and I focus a lot on it in our probate mastery training. But there's not much public-facing content, so I wanted to take some time today to just kind of go through best practices of how you get set up to know the probate attorneys and how you prospect and provide value to them. So we'll jump right into it. The first step, if you're a subscriber of ours, you, ha you get probate leads every 30 days. Um, when you log into your subscriber portal, look in the top left in My Probate Leads, you can click there. And when it comes up in the list view, if you look right in the center, you can click Download CSV. And a CSV is just a simple Microsoft Excel file. So click Download All CSV, and that will download to your computer. Um, if you are not savvy with Excel, don't get lost in this. Go find somebody who does understand it. Uh, if you do understand Excel well, you can just simply open the file, click the diamond in the top left, or between 1 and A. There's a diamond in the top left. You can click that and it'll highlight all cells. And then you can go to Data, Sort, Auto Sort. And, what that'll, and then Sort Ascending. So what that'll do is put an arrow beside of each column heading. And you just scroll over to a probate attorney last name and Sort Ascending. And there you go, you've got all the attorneys sorted by last name. What this will do is it will help you see the ones that are coming up multiple times in your market. And a lot of us, you know, you're going to find that certain attorneys will have two, three, four, five deals a month, maybe even more than that. And typically, you know, half a dozen attorneys or so in each town will kind of own that space and, and, and specialize in it. Those are the ones that you really want to meet. I mean, you, you should meet them all. But those are good starting points because those are people like you who have seen a need in the market and kind of you know stepped up with their business to provide value and fill that need. So it's it's you know it's easier they can identify with what you're doing. Uh, so that's kind of how you can find them. If you're not a subscriber of ours, um, probably the best way is to go to findlaw.com or just go to Google and look for a probate attorney in your town. Uh, it could also be a family law attorney that, that are, is doing those. Um, having a list of them as far as which files they're associated with and the docket numbers uh, in, in our data uh, makes it a lot easier because you know, you know that they're actually doing business and how much. And you can use the docket number and the, the estate, you know, the, 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 the estate of this, you know, deceased last name to kind of break the ice and, and you know, get, have something to talk about when you first initiate the conversation. Um, next, once you kind of know who the attorneys are, now you need to determine what you're going to say, right? So just like in our, uh, when we're prospecting to uh, personal representatives, we want to have a, a unique selling proposition, like what unique value do you bring to the table and why should they talk to you? What we find is that most attorneys and all different types of market across the country, they're very hesitant or just refuse to um, refer a real estate agent or even suggest that, the, that somebody call them. Um, in most cases, the stories we've heard, it's because they've been burned and they've worked with a real estate agent that had to be babysat through the entire transaction and sometimes made it even harder. Um, and I'm sure that won't come as a surprise to a lot of you who worked with some, some frustrating agents. But so what you want to focus on is what can your business do for them? And you want to make it clear that you have the family's best interest, their client's best interest in mind, that you can sell properties fast for the most amount of money, and that you're not going to require babysitting or their supervision, and you're, you're actually going to take away stress, not add stress. And what we find is those three things, once attorneys really understand that, that really differentiates you from the typical realtor who comes into their office talking about, oh, me, 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 like, I, look at my signs, look at these business cards. Like, make it all about them and how you can bring, your business can, can really bring value to their clients and their business. Um, now, let's talk about ways to do that. What we've found in, in, in all my experience in working with agents all across the country, direct mail and phone calls 
are kind of a waste of time to be frank. So uh, uh, there's some, some little tricks you can use like referencing the docket number or, or regarding the estate of that will get mail and phone calls past the gatekeeper sometimes but you usually end up in the trash can or the voicemail of the attorney and you don't have an opportunity to really show, show them what value you bring. So what we've found to be most effective in any type of market is office visits. And I know some of you are like, oh, I'm, not, I'm never going to do that. But if you really want to take this seriously and build a referral network with attorneys who can feed you for the rest of your career, that seems to be what it takes. So it, you know, that's, it's a, it runs the, the spectrum from just simply dropping in to say hello to we've had people that have paid $200 for a billable hour of an attorney's time. Um, for most of us, you're, you're not going to have to actually pay them for that time. Uh, a really good idea is to, well, let me back up. If you already have a property listed, then you absolutely need to go introduce yourself to the probate attorney. Hi, my name's Chad. I just listed the house on the Mary Jones estate, and I just want to introduce myself, see if there's anything that, that you need me to know or anything that I can do that would make this easier for you and, and vice versa. So have you got five minutes to chat real quick? So that's a really good reason to break the ice and start that conversation and you can impress them so much on this transaction they're going to be likely to refer you other you know refer other clients to you to get the real estate sold. Um, don't think that you have to have a property listed just to talk to the attorneys. You can very easily look at that list and say okay he's, he's got this person has six probates this month and this one firm with one attorney and it's you know same thing you can drop in hey I just wanted to talk to attorney Jane Doe um, I'm, I specialize in probate and I find that we're doing more and more transactions uh, in the space and as part of that we we gather courthouse data and I just I keep seeing Mary's name uh, just thought we should know each other is she around could she, does she have five minutes to, to meet real quick and use that to kind of stroke their ego and say hey I, I realize you're a probate specialist and I am too we really should know each other because we can help each other have you got five minutes and five minutes will turn into sometimes an hour meeting. Um, but the point is to just interrupt them and get, get a reason to just get in front of them. And what we find is when that happens, when, when our folks are getting in front of the attorneys, whether it's organically or even the guy that, that, that paid $200, those attorneys like latch onto you. So oftentimes you end up with not only their probate business, but their divorce business and, and other real estate related uh, clients that, that they have. So you'll get a lot of uh, residual off of this. Um, a little uh, dose of encouragement. When we first started this a couple of years ago, we met a gentleman who had been running a pretty conventional real estate practice and he had done over a hundred probate closings over a 10 year period. And it was simply because he bumped into a probate attorney at a dinner party impressed him and this guy just sent him deal after deal after deal. Over a hundred closed transactions from one relationship. So are you going to get the door slammed in your face? Yes. Is everything going to be as easy as I just made it sound? No. But all it takes is one or two of these really solid relationships, these attorneys really understanding what you're offering in the community and it can it can help supplement everything else you're doing with with your you know marketing to the personal representatives and it can it can provide business for the rest of your career and probate attorneys talk to probate attorneys so if, if you really impress one they're going to talk to another and, and the word will spread quickly we have folks making over three quarters of a million dollars in markets with less than 50 leads mainly because they they did they, they sent their mail they made, made their phone calls to the personal representatives but then instead of sitting there waiting for the next month they would turn to the attorneys and they would drop by and introduce themselves and they may leave something behind so guys there's all kinds of ideas I could go way deeper on this and we do in, in probate mastery which we offer once a month um, if you're a subscriber or even if you're not if you really want to learn learn the most about probate you can join us for probate mastery we do it uh, live on a webinar format once a month. <clears throat> you can check out alltheleads.com to learn about that. Um, if you got value from this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can get these videos as they come out. And if you have any questions about if you're not a subscriber of ours and you'd like to see how many leads we're getting in your county each month and check the price, you can go to alltheleads.com and check there. You can see the count and for the price. Just call the number on, on, uh, on our, our 
home page and Jim will help you out. So hopefully you got some value from this guys. It's been another tips from the trainer. If you have any questions, uh, comments, anything you want to, if you, if you want to speak directly with me, you can always send a ticket to support at alltheleads.com and put something in the title about training uh, or attorney prospecting and that ticket will find its way to me. Thanks a lot guys and have a great day.